Welcome everyone to the Mitchell, uh, excuse me, the Michigan Association for College Admission Counseling Virtual College Fair. Thanks for joining us tonight. Um, a few housekeeping announcements before we get started. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. Your camera and microphone are off, so the panelists cannot see or hear you, uh, which is why that Q&A button is so uh, important in order to communicate with the reps. Feel free to direct your questions specifically to an institution, or you can ask generally, and they will try to respond through there. This is just uh, one of many different sessions that's happening tonight. Um, so feel free to sign up in the next coming hour um, so that you can continue to connect with colleges and universities at this fair. And then finally, this presentation is being recorded and will be available within about a week or so at that strivescan.com slash Michigan website. So without further ado, I'm gonna invite our first presenter up, uh, Jacob with Spring Hill College. Take it away, Jacob. Thank you, Jen. I appreciate the introductions and um, good afternoon to everyone. I am going to attempt to share my screen with you. And so um, you should be seeing the first slide, which says, uh, welcome to the Hill. This is um, our Avenue of the Oaks here at Spring Hill College. Spring Hill College is a four-year private liberal arts uh, college in South Alabama, located in Mobile, Alabama. We're about, um, about 30 or 40 minutes away from the Gulf, which I'll tell you about in just a moment. But the Avenue of the Oaks is one of our um, most beautiful areas on campus. It's uh, the place where you begin your freshman induction into the class, and it's the place at the end of the four years where you actually uh, receive your diploma in your graduation ceremony. So one of the great things about Spring Hill College, especially going forward this year, is our new tuition reset. And so our tuition uh, going forward forever and ever will be uh, $21,100. Uh, and so coupled with the um, cost of room and board and additional fees, the total cost is $31,900, and that is without any financial aid. Um, all of our students receive some sort of financial aid in the form of a scholarship. Um, and so we are happy to, to assist with that, but this is uh, our new tuition going forward. So we are one of 28 Jesuit colleges around the country, and we are one of the oldest colleges. We are actually the oldest college in the state of Alabama, founded in the year 1830. And we're in the same network as colleges such as St. Louis University, Loyola Chicago, Georgetown. We're in the same network as those schools. And so we follow in the great Jesuit tradition. And there are lots of things to do here in, down, in uh, Mobile where we are located. Number one, our downtown area is one of the most beautiful in the Southeast. Um, it features wonderful parks, beautiful architecture, lots of restaurants, shops, things for you to do. In addition, we are the founding city of the Festival of Mardi Gras in the United States, founded in the year 1703 when the city of Mobile was founded. And we're also home to Reese's Senior Bowl. So if you like college football and NFL football, um, and those two worlds uh, colliding, then they collide here uh, in the city of Mobile, just down the street from Spring Hill College. We're also home to one of the largest outdoor music festivals in the world with Hangout Fest taking place on the beaches in Mobile. And not to mention this, we are also home to, uh, we are also home to the Gulf Coast beaches. I'm just receiving a note that uh, for some reason, the slides are not progressing. Not sure why that is. Um, hopefully they will catch up. Um, but like I said, we're only about 30 to 40 minutes away from the nearest beach at Dolphin Island. And so you get to take advantage of some of those things while you're here at Spring Hill. Most of our students come from outside of the state of Alabama, and this year we're represented by 30 different countries. Our faculty hold, um, most of our faculty hold their terminal degree, which is uh, the highest degree in their field, so a PhD or master's degree, depending on the uh, major, the area of study. And most of our students live on campus in a variety of housing options. Uh, one of our hallmarks, though, is our small class size. And so our class sizes are about 13 to 1. And so that's one of the things that you um, 
participate in at Spring Hill. You get to know your professors, they get to know you. And we really are a community here at Spring Hill. You're not just a number in a lecture hall. And there are over 47 majors and areas of concentration at Spring Hill College. Um, most importantly, I'd like to name our nursing department, which is one of the top in the state for a four-year college, and also our business department, which offers a uh, three plus one business degree option where you can earn your MBA in just four years. In addition, we also have multiple uh, liberal arts majors, including history, English, psychology, et cetera, as well as lots of arts majors as well. Uh, in addition, this is just a sample of the companies uh, that our students have either gained an internship with or um, later been employed by. If you can't see that on your screen, I'll just name some of those, Facebook, IBM, uh, Honeywell, American Express, FedEx, uh, so lots of different big name companies that our students have been able to be a part of. In addition, Forbes Magazine just named Spring Hill College as one of the top 10 colleges and universities around the country for best return on your investment. So the investment that you make at Spring Hill College really pays off uh, in dividends later on down the road. So we're very proud of that, as well as being named a College of Distinction. So lots of things to do on campus. Uh, we have Greek life uh, with fraternities and sororities. So if you're interested in leadership opportunities, as well as um, opportunities for intramural sports, lots of athletic opportunities, opportunities in campus ministry. So if you're interested in retreat programs or service learning, lots of different uh, opportunities await you there. Not to mention our Foley Center. So our Foley Center is um, located here on campus to help get students out into the community and not only around the community, but around the world in service. And our Italy Center for um, international learning is one of our unique study abroad opportunities. And we actually uh, partner with the University of Bologna, which is the oldest uh, Western European university in um, sending you abroad and being able to explore not only not only Italy, but participate in a global classroom and be able to explore different cultures other than your own. And uh, you get to brush up on your Italian. Italian speaking students get to brush up on their English. So it's a really great opportunity at Spring Hill. I mentioned our sports already, so if you're interested in sports, those are available to you as well as an NCAA Division II school. And finally, we do have our own 18-hole golf course right here on campus, so please um, take a look at that if you're interested in golf. A couple of different ways to apply. We have the traditional way with test scores and transcripts, and then finally test optional. And that's all available on our website, shc.edu. So that's all I have to share. So thank you very much. I apologize if the slides are not progressing. I'm not sure why that was. And thank you so much, Jacob. Up next, I will invite Felisa with Eastern Kentucky University. Hello everybody, my name is Felisa Wilson. I'm gonna share my screen and let's start this. So again, my name is Felisa Wilson. I'm with Eastern Kentucky University and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about my institution today. So first of all, Eastern Kentucky University is located in Richmond, Kentucky. We're about 25 miles south of Lexington, straight down I-75. So we're about six hours from Detroit. Um, so we are close, but we are a little far away at the same time. So we're close enough that you can get home, um, but we're far enough away that um, your parents aren't just going to drop by. So just know that we are very excited about that and we have um, a great location that we are an hour and a half from Cincinnati. We're an hour and a half from Louisville. Um, so if you decide you want to fly in and visit us, there's plenty of opportunities to do so, including our Lexington Airport. At Eastern Kentucky University, I have over 15,000 students in our student body. Um, so we are very proud 
of that number. Um, we are considered a medium-sized institution in the state of Kentucky. So um, we do have everything a big school has, and I have everything that a small school has as well. With the student-teacher ratio of just 15 to 1, I don't have an auditorium that's going to seat 150, 200 people that you're just going to swipe in, and the professors aren't going to know who you are. Um, so we are very, very excited that, you know, we keep our, our instruction very um, personalized with co-ops and internships to ensure that our students get the best of their um, majors and um, internships for the future. We do represent all 50 states. Um, one of my student workers, actually one of our graduate assistants right now, is from the great state of Michigan. Um, she is one of our occupational therapy um, majors. So we do represent all the states um, that come to Kentucky and we're very, very proud with over 47 countries represented as well. So we have a very diverse population on our campus. Um, and that is because we do offer over 100 um, career driven programs. So I'm going to talk a little bit about some of our programs with over 100 programs. It's kind of hard to talk about all of them, but I'm going to talk about some of our notable ones. So first of all, we're going to start off with the College of Health Sciences that does house our occupational therapy program. Um, we're the only doctorate in the state of Kentucky. Um, I also have a nursing program that is nationally ranked. Um, I have a dietetics program, child and family studies as well, um, environmental health, things of that nature within our College of Health Sciences. We have a College of Justice and Safety that does make us a university of distinction in the nation for the College of Justice and Safety. I'm ranked number one in the nation for criminal justice. Um, so I have a criminal justice, fire and explosion um, major, a homeland security, social justice, police studies, um, EMTs. We are one of the safest uh, institutions in the nation, as well as we are um, leading um, people in, our professors are leading professors in the textbook making of most criminal justice programs in the nation. So we're very proud of that as well. Our College of Science houses our forensic science program. There's only six, 16 forensic science programs in the nation and we are one of the 16. We were first um, accredited in the nation for forensic science. So we have a forensic biology and a forensic chemistry. I have wildlife management biology in that program as well. There are our, our pre-meds are also in this college as well. I have the College of Letters, Arts and Social Sciences, what we like to call class. Um, that has my social work program, um, my psychology program, my music program. So we have a great deal of programs within our College of Letters, Arts and Social Sciences as well. Our College of Business and Technology has one of the top aviation programs in the nation. Um, as well as we're the only aviation program in Kentucky. So we do fly planes at EKU. I have a professional golf management program within our College um, of Business and Technology as well. I have construction management, agriculture. I have um, a farm on our campus as well that our students that major in agriculture are required to be on. So we're very proud of that. Last but certainly not least, we were founded as a teaching institution and I have the College of Education. So I have education majors, I have an American Sign Language and Interpreter Training Program. Um, I have a Communication Disorders Program, which most people call Speech Pathology. So we have that program as well that brings people all over the nation. Of course, if you come to campus, we do have housing options. We have everything from a traditional residence hall to suite style living and apartment style living on campus as well. So you have many options for that. I am an NCAA Division I school. Um, we just joined the ASUN. So we do have um, all of our athletics and our 16 athletic teams. Um, our cheerleaders just won um, national championships. Um, so we are very, very proud of our teams for that as well. There's many things for you to do with the brand new recreation center on our campus. Um, so if you want to come visit our campus, we would always welcome you. We have a state, we have a wonderful EKU honors program that we are very, very proud of as well. We have dining options, so you can always come. But the most important thing about the university is our out-of-state tuition is set as $10,300 for all out-of-state students. We are very proud of that tuition um, and we're very proud to offer that to our Michigan students. Last but not least, the things that I want to tell you about is EKU Booksmart. All of our incoming students in fall 2021 will all get their uh, books for free. So regardless if they're $1 or if it's up to $1,200, $1,500, we will pay for your books. 
We are very proud of the EKU Booksmart. No other institution's probably gonna say that. Um, and we're very proud of that as well. Certainly, but not least, we want you to apply to the university. So if you go to eku.edu backslash apply, application is absolutely free. We want you to apply um, and to come to the university. All I need is a 2.0 GPA um, and that'll get you admitted. Also, of course, come visit us. We would love to have you at EKU. So we're very, very proud that you took some time to talk to me today, and I hope you guys have a good night. Awesome. Thank you so much, Felisa. Thank you. Up next, I will invite Kelly Joe with Savannah College of Art and Design. Hi, everyone. My name is Kelly Joe. I'm getting my PowerPoint pulled up here. All right, so my name is Kelly Joe. I'm the uh, Assistant Director of Admission with the Savannah College of Art and Design. So here to talk to you guys a little bit about SCAD. Thanks everybody for joining us this evening. So SCAD was founded in 1978, and since then we have grown to become one of the most comprehensive and connected art and design universities in the world. We have grown quite a bit in those 43 years. Um, we now have global campus locations. So although we started in Savannah, we actually have four different campus options now. So um, we have an amazing campus in Atlanta, Georgia, about three hours north of Savannah. So if you really like that metropolitan hub, there's always something going on, tons of events. Um, definitely check out the Atlanta campus. We do have our full-time study abroad location in La Cosse, France. So this is going to be in the South Hills of France. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's actually a 1300 year old medieval village and surrounded by lavender and sunflower fields. This is the region of the earth where Van Gogh's paintings were inspired. And then um, we do still have our biggest campus, which is gonna be in Savannah, Georgia, so right along the coast of Georgia, tied by the beach. You've got Tybee Island about 25, 30 minutes away. I mean, it is that true kind of Southern coastal historic city. So it's got the huge live oak trees with Spanish moss and the cobblestone streets. And then we do now have our global e-learning platform, which is completely online. Um, the cool thing about our e-learning program, um, I know we've all kind of gotten used to this in the last year, but we've had our e-learning program for about 10 years now, which is really great to know that if you want to stay in Michigan and get an entire degree online, or let's say you come down to one of our in-person campuses and then you get an internship opportunity in New York City or San Francisco, you can go do those internships and still take advantage of our classes through e-learning. So um, one of my favorite things about this is once a student is accepted to SCAD, they are accepted to every campus. So you do have the opportunity to study at each of them if you would like to. Our tuition is going to be the same no matter which one of these you're attending. So all of your scholarships, financial aid, everything's going to be the same no matter which one. So I always encourage our students to take advantage of each of them. So in that time, we have grown quite a bit in our student population. We've got about 15,000 students now, and they are coming from all 50 states in more than 100 different countries. So we've got about a 26% international population, which is really cool. We're very diverse at SCAD. Um, we've also grown in our program offerings in that time. We now offer over 40 different majors at SCAD. So everything art and design you can think of. Yes, we've got the typical fine arts that you might normally think about with illustration and painting. We've got photography, but we've got so much more than that. So we also have everything from architecture to animation and graphic design to game design to social strategy and management, which is all about social media and using social media for branding, marketing, advertising. Um, so really a lot of different options. One of my favorite things is that you do not have to have any prior experience. We do not require a portfolio to be accepted to SCAD. So you can come in with no prior knowledge and we're gonna teach you from the ground up everything that you need to know. So with all of our majors and minors combined, we've got over 100 different degree programs. Speaking of numbers, I gotta tell you my favorite one, which is our 99% alumni employment rate. This data comes from spring 2019. They're still compiling all of the 2020 data. But from spring 2019, 99% of our graduates were either employed or seeking further education or both within 10 months of graduating. And out of that 99%, 91% were employed in a creative field. So this right here really goes to show you the quality of a SCAD education and that yes, you're coming in to get prepared to get the degree, but you're also getting prepared to get a job afterwards and a job in something you like doing, something you're passionate about, right? So, you know, our, whether it's through our industry connections and partnerships and through our faculty. Um, so we, uh, we really pride ourselves on the fact that our students get to do what they love and actually get jobs in places that they want to work. So 
currently have students at Netflix and Chanel and Pixar. We currently have students at Apple and Spotify and Instagram. Like I said, that really goes to show you the quality of the STAT education. So if any of this is sounding good to you, definitely head over to our website to get more information. SCAD.edu has everything from our programs to doing virtual tours, um, to being able to watch videos of all of our different campuses, as well as you can even watch videos of, of some student work from each one of our different programs. Pretty cool. Our application process is very simple. We are on rolling admission. So you can actually start the application as early as a junior. And you have all the way until the end of senior year to get everything in. So um, that first initial application only takes about 10 minutes. And then you do get connected to an admission advisor who's going to walk you through all those next steps of the application. They're going to be the ones to help you complete your file. They work with you on financial aid and scholarships. And then definitely we want you to come down and visit because seeing it in person is the best way to see it. Um, and that way you can connect with your advisor on campus. So we are open for in-person tours right now at both our Savannah and Atlanta locations in Georgia. So I highly recommend coming down this summer for a visit. Um, we have tours every day of the week except for Sunday. And then um, also we are still hosting virtual tours. If you're not quite ready to come down yet, you can definitely check out um, on our website right here as well to do a virtual tour. So if you'd like to get any more information, um, use the QR code here. You can scan um, on your phone as well as just heading over once again to our website, scad.edu um, to request more information from us. Um, I'm actually your regional representative for SCAD. So although we um, are in Georgia for our two biggest campuses, I actually live in Cincinnati, Ohio. So I'm going to be your regional rep. So definitely don't hesitate to reach out if you guys have any questions. And thanks again so much for being here today. Thank you, Kelly, Joe. Next, we have Janet with the Milwaukee Institute of Art and Design. Hello, everyone. Give me one second here to share my screen. All right, are we seeing that okay? Yes, okay. Yeah. Okay, awesome. So my name is Janet. I'm from the Milwaukee Institute of Art and Design. I'm an admissions counselor here. I'm also a MIAD alum. Um, so the Milwaukee Institute of Art and Design is a mouthful. We abbreviate everything at MIAD. You'll get to see that um, as I touch through our majors here. We're located in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, um, which is just an hour and a half north of Chicago. I'm originally from Chicago. It's a really easy, quick drive. You'd be surprised. Um, we're still along beautiful Lake Michigan. We're in the historic Third Ward. So all of the buildings surrounding our one building campus that you can see in the image behind me um, are gonna be really awesome industrial Milwaukee buildings. We are Wisconsin's only fully accredited private nonprofit college of art and design. Uh, we have five BFA programs. We're specifically only an undergraduate school. Um, so you really get to focus on that undergrad degree. You're gonna have options to um, major in illustration pretty self-explanatory. Students who also are interested in animation go within this major. Communication design, so that's our graphic design major, teaches all sides of branding, web, print, um, and pretty much um, all levels of graphic design. New studio practice, fine art. So this is our interdisciplinary studio arts major. You're gonna have students interested in a variety of media. So photography, painting, drawing, fibers, um, mixed media. If you don't even wanna define a media, that's totally okay too. Just focusing you on you as a practicing studio artist. Uh, product design, that one's pretty self-explanatory. And then interior architecture and design. Again, also follow it, focusing on the design aspect of interior architecture and design. You're not gonna be graduating with an architecture degree. We are a really small school. Um, so we have under a thousand students. We're around 930 right now, which is the biggest we've ever been. Um, so we have really small class sizes. You're having from 15 to 16 students in a class working with your professor and focusing on you and the work that you're making. 75% of the time you are in your studio. So you are doing work that's directly tied to your major focusing on exactly what you're interested in. And then that's supported with our liberal studies program. So you'll be taking mandatory cl classes in um, writing, history, 
humanities and science. And these can get really fun. Um, for example, one history elective that we just had this year that was a big hit is um, the art history of Japanese cinema. Students were really obsessed with that one. So we're gonna bring it back next year. We offer some other op programming options that are really great. We do a partnership with Marquette University. It's a really prestigious university just located 10 minutes west of Myad's campus. Um, so you can take classes at Marquette for no additional cost in your Myad tuition. We take advantage of their awesome health services. Also, Myad students love to join their interdisciplinary um, clubs and sports as well. And students just like a little bit of that change in scenery. We have study abroad and the ACAD exchange program. So you can exchange at another art and design institution in the country that's a part of ACAD um, for a semester, which is really popular. Students heading down to Chicago for SAIC for a semester. And the study abroad program, which is really vast. Um, you can spend a semester at a school abroad, or you can um, go ahead and do a four week program over the summer. We have internships and careers that are directly tied to your Mayan education. So while you're at school, you will be working with professionals um, and then getting your internship right away, sophomore um, into your junior year. Some quick glimpses at our facilities within the school. So we have really awesome professional facilities. We have one of the largest printmaking labs in the Midwest that we're super proud of. Um, every classroom becomes your playground space. We have a really super industrious sculpture lab, um, awesome two professional galleries located within the school that students and alumni and international exhibiting artists exhibit in. Personal studio, so you will get a studio right away once you declare your major sophomore year, no matter what major you're in, you will have a space that's dedicated to you working. And then our Maya dorms are apartment style, so it's five students living in one suite, um, full two bedroom, two bath, full kitchen, and they're located just across the street from Maya, so it's super convenient um, and very helpful for Wisconsin winters. If you like the images, you can see more at maya.edu.com. Um, also on our Instagram page, uh, at Myad Admissions on um, Instagram and Facebook as well. How to apply, it's super simple. We require a minimum 10 piece portfolio. If you're a sophomore or freshman, you don't even know what a portfolio looks like, reach out to me, I will help you get that started. Um, it is less scary than it sounds. We also require that you submit your high school transcripts, um, super easy and then you complete our online um, application, which is through Slide Room. Optional, letters of recommendation. We don't need ACT, SAT test scores. Um, we'll take a personal essay if you're interested. And the best part is that your portfolio is really gonna be what's gonna get you your admission. And that is also what's gonna be what's gonna award you your scholarship. We do award scholarships for every first time student freshman who's accepted because we believe that if you are just really the best of the best and you're getting into an art school like us, you deserve um, an award for that. And our scholarships are renewable for four years. So um, some quick important deadlines. Our early action deadline for our application is December 1st. Um, so you have a lot of time over the summer to reach out, talk to me, get started on your portfolio. Um, I am the counselor that works with our awesome Michigan students. And come on down to Milwaukee when you have time in the fall is really when it's the most beautiful. We are offering on campus tours as well as virtual tours and I'll drop the link to our virtual tour in the chat. Thank you guys so much for sharing. Awesome, thank you so much. Our next institution, Craig with University of Alabama. Well, good evening, everyone. Let me pull up the uh, presentation here for you all. Okay, so I'm Craig Waite. I'm the Michigan Regional Recruiter for the University of Alabama, the Crimson Tide in Tuscaloosa. Uh, something unique about the University of Alabama is they have regional recruiters all over the country. So I actually live in Michigan. So I'm here in uh, Grand Haven, Michigan, working with all the students from Michigan who have questions or are interested uh, in the University of Alabama. So the University of Alabama is in Tuscaloosa, a classic college town. Now, one thing I do wanna be honest with you about is we're not gonna be able to give you the snow and cold weather that you're used to uh, here in Michigan. The average year round temperature is 70. So uh, it's gonna be warm and sunny. So I do apologize for that. Uh, but Tuscaloosa is a town of 100,000 people. I love the Riverwalk in Tuscaloosa. A lot of uh, students run along the Riverwalk and walk and 
uh, kayak, the strip downtown where everyone goes um, for parties and to get something to eat. It's just a classic Southern college town. We're a big school, you know, we're 38,000 students in the University of Alabama and we have more out of state students uh, than we have in state students. So we have students from all over the country, all over the world attend the University of Alabama. It's okay if you don't have a Southern accent, you will still fit in. Um, at the University of Alabama, I mean, the academic programs are immense. There's hundreds of them. So we also have New College, which is really cool. You can actually meet with your advisor and create your own degree. Um, but we also have 200 to choose from. But from Michigan, I tend to get a ton of students who go into engineering. That's the biggest one that I get. We've had engineering since we were founded in 1835, 18, um, early 1800s. Um, also business is huge, pre-med, pre-law. Those tend to be the, the programs that I get the most students from. And we have a top ranked honors college program as well. The University of Alabama is um, test optional uh, for 2021. And I believe it's official uh, that we're gonna be test optional for 2022 as well. That means when our application opens in July, you can apply with your high school transcript and your, your ACT or SAT test score if you are able and you choose to take it and if you'd like to send the test score in, or you can just simply apply with your high school transcript and not send in a test, um, that's acceptable too. Our application is so easy. I mean, it is simple. There's no essay, no interview, uh, no recommendation letters. I believe it took my daughter five minutes uh, to do the application when she applied uh, to Alabama. But one date that's really important is apply and be admitted by January 15th so that you're eligible for scholarships. If you're checking out the University of Alabama, there's a good chance you have a friend from Michigan who's going there on a big scholarship. Um, and the one of the reasons is because our scholarships at, auto, at Alabama are automatic. If you have the great grade point average, you have the test score, you just get it. Um, the average student at Alabama has a 3.8 GPA and a 27 um, ACT. We do lead the nation or one of the leading schools in national merit scholars who are typically in the top 1% of their state. But here's what I really wanted to show you is our scholarships. If you're sitting out there with a 3.0 grade point average or higher, and if you get a 27 ACT or a 1260 SAT, we take either one, you're gonna get thousands and thousands of dollars. These are automatic, they're good for all four years. So if you get a 32 ACT or a 1420 SAT and you have a 3.5, you're getting the 28,000 every year automatically, year one, year two, year three, year four, it's not a competition. You don't have to come to campus to compete for these. If you hit it, you get it. So the scholarships at Alabama are really good. Now, if you don't take the ACT or SAT, that's okay. We have tier one, tier two, and tier three scholarships. That's gonna be based on your extracurricular activities, your volunteerism, your leadership, your scholarship application. Um, but uh, there are huge scholarships that you can earn for the University of Alabama. And you know a, a huge percentage of the students from Michigan that I work with do get a scholarship to help offset the out-of-state tuition. Uh, at Alabama, I mean, 38,000 students, 600 clubs and organizations. I like to say, if you can't have fun in Alabama, it's you, not us, it's you. There's 600 clubs and organizations. So whatever your passions are, whatever your interests are, I've, I've helped very different students go to Alabama. Some are into fraternities and sororities, and that's their thing. We do have the largest Greek life system in America. So if that's your thing, great. If it's not your thing, turn to your left, turn to your right. There's 599 other clubs and organizations to join. So church groups, church groups are huge at the University of Alabama. Intramural sports, academic clubs, social clubs, uh, whatever you want, there it's there. So it's uh, there's a lot to do uh, in the Tuscaloosa at Alabama. Uh, also uh, coming up, um, another thing that a lot of students really enjoy about the University of Alabama is uh, meeting roommates from all over the country. Uh, students from California, New York, Alabama, Michigan, just from all over. Uh, I think the most important thing that you can do when you find a school that you like, any of the schools you've heard from tonight or Alabama, the most important thing I think you can do is visit. When you see a campus and you're on campus, the magic happens or the magic doesn't happen. If you don't see yourself going to that school when you plan a visit and you're there and you're on campus, 
and you don't fall in love and you're not head over heels with that school, it's not the right one for you, whether that's Alabama or wherever. Uh, so if you do plan a visit to Tuscaloosa to visit Alabama, you're gonna wanna reach out to me. I'm gonna gather information about you and I'm going to personalize your visit so that it, you're gonna have a two hour tour, but also you're gonna meet with the, the college that you're interested in, the groups you're interested in. It's gonna be eight to four. If you're coming a 12 hour drive or you're flying from Grand Rapids or Detroit into Birmingham, an hour north of Tuscaloosa and rain a car, it's a big deal. And it's a, it's a big undertaking. So I want it to be a very, very in-depth visit. Uh, and you can reach me if you have questions about Alabama at my cell, which is 248-497-5691. Or you can email me at craig.wait at ua.edu. Thanks. Thank you, Craig. I'm going to have you uh, stay on camera and I'm going to invite everyone else um, to join us on their camera as well. Unfortunately, Embry Riddle couldn't be here tonight. So we are just going to jump into some live Q&A that will share a little bit more information um, about uh, each institution as well as a little bit about the college search process. Um, so I'm going to kick us off with give us a fun or interesting fact um, about your school. And we will uh, allow Jacob to kick us off. All right. So a fun and interesting fact about Spring Hill is we have the oldest continually operating collegiate baseball field in the United States. Awesome. Felisa? Um, probably an interesting fact about EKU is that we actually educate every police officer in the state of Kentucky. So if you come to visit our campus, you might see um, police officers throughout the state. So if you're coming down the interstate, don't be scared. There's probably just police cars coming for training. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Kelly Joe. Yeah, um, one of my favorite things about SCAD is that our current president was actually our founder. Her name's Paula Wallace, and she actually was an art teacher herself in Atlanta, Georgia, and had this dream of an art and design university in the Southeast. So she actually sold her car, everything she had to move to Savannah to make this dream become a reality. And she is still currently our president. And she's on Instagram if you want to follow her at Paula Wallace. Very cool. Janet? Awesome. So my fun fact is about our building that you can see behind me. Um, it actually was an old industrial car factory in Milwaukee. So we try to keep some of that rustic, gritty energy. And we have the original foundry on site um, that they use to build automobiles and ship them out along the Milwaukee River. Cool. And Craig. Well, first of all, you might have heard we're starting to get pretty good at football. Not <laughs> Um, uh, but the, the fact that I want to share with you that's fun is uh, we have three Starbucks, including a drive through on campus, and the Chick-fil-A is in our dining hall. So students <laughs> like that. Awesome. Awesome. So what about um, a favorite event or tradition on campus? Jacob, take us off again and we'll go down the line. Yeah, so one of the greatest traditions I can think of for Spring Hill is um, graduation. We have graduation um, on the Avenue of the Oaks. So uh, families um, coming from all over get to set up um, in, in chairs on the Avenue and students walk down the Avenue where they started at uh, four years before their graduation date. And just a, it's, a, it's a time honored tradition and it's very special. Um, because it's where they all started four years ago. And so it's, it's very special, not only to students, but to alumni as well. At EKU, our, my favorite tradition about campus is um, that we have a Daniel Bone statue in the center of our campus that has a gold toe. Um, it is tradition for our students to come in um, in the very beginning of their um, collegiate career and do a walk and they walk by and they rub the toe of Daniel Boone for good luck for their tradition at the university. And that is the last thing they get to do when they graduate. So next Saturday, Friday and Saturday, they'll be walking in their caps <laughs> to rub that toe for good luck. 
Um, not a tradition, but one of my favorite events that we do at SCAD's campus, um, we have a fashion show every year for our seniors to showcase their final pieces. And it's really fun because Miss J Alexander from America's Next Top Model actually comes down and helps our models walk the runway. Because although the seniors um, from the fashion program are showcasing their pieces, other students from other programs can actually be the models for them. And so it's a lot of fun. So Miss J actually helps them learn how to walk the runway. It's a great time. Awesome. And a favorite tradition that I have at Myad is called Myad Define. Um, so it's basically a day that we cancel all classes. Um, no teachers teach, no students have to be in class. We have tons of free food, which college students love free food. Um, and then we do a bunch of uh, panels and um, presentations that are all student run. So anything that you want to talk about with your fellow peers and professors, um, you get to have a conversation about. And of course, I'm going to mention a tradition is if you go to Alabama, you have to, even if you hate football, you have to go to at least one football game. We typically have around 300,000 people on campus on game day, and it's like a Super Bowl. Now, I'm in Michigan, and I'm a Lions fan, so I don't know about Super Bowls, uh, but I'm told it's much like a Super Bowl, so uh, that, <laughs> that you'd have to do. Okay. So we have just a few minutes left. And I think this last question is, is a good one. So oh, let me go back to it. Um, what advice would you give someone going through the college search process? So you just talked about your fabulous institutions, but in general, what would be your one piece of advice real quickly? Jacob? I think I would have to agree with my colleague Craig about going to visit the institution. I think that's one of the best pieces of advice I can give a student is if you have the chance, go visit, step on campus, um, explore, ask the hard questions to the students on campus and, and just see if it's the right fit for you. I'm going to agree with him as well as utilize admissions counselors and their mission staffs on our campuses. We will be more than happy to help you in any way that we can with if it's, if it's our institutions or if it's any competitor institutions as well. We are not after each other. Um, we like to help each other to get these students into school. Well, everyone took mine already. So <laughs> I was going to say definitely visiting the campuses. And even I know some of us are a little bit farther away from Michigan. So definitely take advantage of those virtual opportunities that we've all got right now. You know, being able to do some of that stuff online. But yeah, and just asking questions. Don't be afraid to ask questions. There's not a dumb question. We are here to help you, like Lisa just said. Um, so definitely don't hesitate. I was just about to say there are no dumb questions. Um, your counselors are your number one fans. We really just want you to make the decision that you feel is best for you. Um, and we just want to introduce you to the schools that we have and what we have to offer. So don't be afraid of us. I would just say for students that uh, let your guard down, have fun searching for your best fit, and just fall in love with the school. You'll know when you found it. And just do your homework, do your research, and just find your best fit and enjoy the process. All fantastic information. Thank you so much, uh, presenters, for being here and sharing information about your institutions and all, obviously all the fun stuff um, during the Q&A. Um, and audience, I hope you enjoyed and you learned something. The conversation does not stop here. So feel free to reach out to those admissions counselors to further the conversation. And as you exit this webinar, you will be taken to a quick survey. It's only four questions, so we'd love to hear your feedback. Uh, and we do have one more hour of sessions um, in, in about 15 minutes or so. So feel free to sign up in this last hour um, to continue to connect with different colleges and universities. And all the recordings will be available on the website in about a week or so at that strivescan.com slash Michigan website. Um, so thanks again to the presenters. Thank you audience for being here. And I hope everyone has a great evening. Take care, everyone.